How to Clean a Laminaire Airflow Workbench Presented by Berkshire Corporation Berkshire is a global leader in the engineering and manufacturing of contamination control products for clean rooms and critical environments worldwide. At this point, I have already performed proper hand hygiene, garbing, and gloving procedures according to my facility's policies. I am going to clean and disinfect my workbench or laminaire flow hood utilizing proper wiping technique. Whether cleaning or disinfecting the LAFW, the wiping sequence is the same. I will clean my gloved hands by spraying them with a sterile 70% IPA and rubbing my hands together until they have dried completely. In addition, I can also use a pre-wetted sterile 70% IPA wiper to wipe my gloves instead of an alcohol spray to sanitize my gloves. When I'm cleaning or disinfecting a LAFW, it is important that I do not spread contaminants from one area to another. This is why I wipe using overlapping strokes in a parallel direction. I use a new wiper surface with each stroke. I always wipe from the back to the front, left to right, and cleanest to dirtiest. Now I will select a pre-wetted wiper from the cart and fold it into a quarter size before I begin wiping inside the LAFW. This folding allows me to maximize the use of the entire wiper. If I were using a dry wiper, I would spray the wiper with a sterile 70% IPA, making sure the wiper is uniformly wet but not dripping. For convenience, ease of cleaning, and as a best practice, I use pre-wetted sterile 70% IPA wipes. A pre-wetted wiper is recommended as an alternative to spraying a dry wipe. Berkshire offers SatPak's sterile 70% IPA wipers. It is the best way to achieve uniform wetting. By using a pre-wetted wiper, I can reduce the chance of overspray, solution waste, and volatile organic compound emissions, or VOC emissions. I will now wipe the LAFW in the following order. Sealing. Back surface. IV bar, interior sides, and component hooks and then work surface. Now let's look at the proper wiping technique. Now that I've demonstrated the proper wiping sequence for the LAFW, I will now show you how to properly fold and unfold the wiper. After each stroke, I use a new wiper surface. Once the two outer surfaces have been used, I unfold the wiper to a new face, as shown in this photo. The quarter-folded wiper's inside surfaces can also be used. This is done by unfolding the entire wipe and folding the contaminated face inside. Once I've used up all eight faces of the wipe, I will replace it with a new quarter-folded wipe. If you are looking for a tool to help you clean the hard-to-reach places inside your LAFW or isolator, try the EasyClean 360 Isolator Cleaning Tool. It is autoclavable and comes with replacement clean room wiper heads. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about contamination control and clean room supplies shown in this video, please contact us 